So we just want to say a good morning, everyone, and welcome to dive number 336 on board RV Falkor as part of the Ningaloo Canyons expedition. And my name is Lisa Kirkendall from the Western Australia Museum, and I'll be guiding you through the dive this morning. Until now, we've not had the ability to take this kind of imagery in Australia, and so we're hoping to lay down a foundation for future surveys to compare against. And just stunning. One of the highlights of this expedition has been using the ROV to be able to collect biological samples. And one of the amazing things is the quality of the cameras. So we can zoom right in on a tiny rock and see animals that are just centimetres or almost millimetres long and then actually have the dexterity um, with pilots that have the skills to be able to pick up those animals. It's just astounding that this is happening at the bottom of the ocean. Being able to adapt to pick up delicate things and more robust animals and, and store them in different places safely to bring them up to the surface is really important to um, obtaining a good collection of samples. This is a pretty exciting catch for us. Um, it's only been recorded in Australia on one occasion before where two individuals were caught. Immediately it tells you how little we really do know about the deep sea. The imagery shows us, especially for deep sea animals, just how they live in their environment, how they interact with other things in the environment. We can't see it any other way than, than having this ROV. If it's something that I know we haven't seen before or it's something that I know is, is not really recorded from the area before, it's fabulous. So for this expedition, we are remapping the Cape Range Canyon in the evenings when we're not doing ROV dives. We're doing this because the scientists want to be able to compare the existing data with the new data. This might provide insight into some new areas that need to be explored. And with this data, we get an extremely high resolution map of the seafloor. We get to see nooks and crannies of the canyon floor. So as well as this incredibly detailed mapping data and the biological samples we're collecting, we're also collecting eDNA samples. So eDNA refers to any genetic material found in the environment. We're ground truthing our eDNA results with the biological samples. So basically we're collecting the biological samples and building a library with which we can compare the eDNA results to. Each sample we do take is done so with care and precision. The combination of the imagery and the manipulated tools that we have at hand means that we can be very selective about what we need to get the science done. The deep sea is so unexplored and so until we are able to describe these little pieces of the puzzle and fit them together, we really have a very poor understanding and so we're hoping that this expedition will be the start of a step in the right direction of understanding our biodiversity in these unknown places.